This is a demonstration video for Charles. Charles, this is your Qui-Gon Jinn lightsaber, your 89 sabers with Profi board and NeoPixel. It's an absolute beautiful saber, and we're actually gonna miss having it around the place. I've really enjoyed, you know, working on it, installing it, and playing around with it while I was putting the fonts and the music on for you. I just love this, the, the fins here. So let me show you few bits and pieces i'm going to zoom back out here when you get your saber in the mail i'm going to mail out tomorrow it will not function at all like this because the kill key is inserted in the recharge port so screw off your pommel like so and you will have access to your recharge port right here so your recharge port <coughs> and your kill key you twist your kill key Keep your concentration here and now where it belongs you turn on the saber one click on the button to turn on and off is hold. I'm going to go to the next font. Just to show you that when I turn off the kill key, because save state is enabled, when I turn back on, credits will do fine. you get that other piece of dialogue from the boot, you know? And uh, so this is also your recharge port. You take out the kill key, uh, put in your charger. Um, there's a little light here that's red while charging, green while fully charged. Um, always keep your kill key in so that you don't lose it. So, to line up your kill key with your button to push the chassis back in, the chassis needs to be pushed in like this and it needs to be doing this little spring thing before you put on the pommel. Do not attempt to squeeze on the pommel if it is, you know, to the side and <clears throat> not going like this. Um, I have this nice little bounce here because you'll see that I had to sand the chassis around. Um, it's, uh, it's sanded all around because it was too tight. It was, it was going all the way in and not coming back out. And I was having to open the saber up every time to pull it back out, which is not convenient for charging or switching on or off. So I had to sand it a bit, um, but you don't, you don't see it ever, the sanding, uh, because it's always, it's always hidden away. Um, so put your pommel on when your chassis is in. And now let me go through some of the controls with you. <coughs> we are on the second font, so I'm gonna go back to font one. Master Qui-Gon. That is your first font. Uh, I honestly can't remember which is which. Um, you know, we have the Kyber Phonics, the Kate Sith, the One Sith, and the uh, Fates. So you have your four Qui-Gon fonts with your different pieces of dialogue and music. This is your first one. Uh, as requested, it has the Droid fight music. So I'm just going to go through the controls actually with you because I've actually got a sheet here with the controls that I'm going to be shipping with your saber because the, being a one button saber, the controls are pretty um, inventive, I guess we'll say, to get all the um, features of the profi board with a single button. So we'll start off with just on. On is one click and off is hold down the button until it turns off. It's also worth noting on this button that it is designed to not press easily. Um, reason being, you know, if you're hanging it on your belt or if you're swinging around while the saber is on, you don't accidentally hit the button. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't activate if you kind of touch the side of it. It needs a good old press right down the middle, just like that. So once the saber is on, these are your blaster effects. The single click blaster effects uh, to turn the blade off hold down until it goes off to play your music is a double click so two clicks two clicks and then of course you can turn your blade on while the music is on All your different um, effects. You know, you have your different uh, blaster effects there and clash effects when you give it a swing and a knock. Blaster effects is single clicks of the button while the blade is on. <coughs> uh, next, next on our list here, we have previous preset. So um, did I go to next preset already? Let's do next preset first. Yeah, so next preset, you hold down the button for approximately one second. 
I foresee you will become a great Jedi Knight. This is on to your, is it your second? I think I'm on the second now, yeah. So let's just go forward one and back one just to, to show you how to do it. To go back one, you just hold the button down and wait. Hold and wait. Master Qui-Gon. Yes, yeah, so that is font one. Uh, with the Yoda saying Master Qui Gon. Uh, so let's go off back to font two again. Hold. I foresee you will become a great Jedi Knight. For approximately one second and release. So we're now on our second font. Let's have a listen to our music. It's your Desert Jewel with um, Darth Maul and Qui Gon. I'll turn everything off. <clears throat> um, next on the list is lock up, stab, lightning block, melt, and drag. I will show you those um, a little bit later on in the video when I put the blade in. So let's skip down to force effects and dialogue. So this is where you're going to find all your dialogue. So let me just... Uh, apologies, I am back. I got a phone call on my phone here um, while I was videoing. So somebody rudely interrupted your um, demonstration video. So where was I? I was on um, force effects and dialogue, yes. So once the saber is on, you hold down your button. I want to see you spaceship the moment the race is over. Patience, my good friend. You'll have your winnings before the sun is set. You'll be far away from here. Just want some of your dialogue. So you hold the button with the saber pointing upright and give it a twist. All right, you ready? Now, this will take a little bit of getting used to, but you'll get it eventually. Always remember, your focus determines your reality. So, as we discussed, there are um, quite a few, there are quite a few uh, force effect dialogues on there, and they will play at random. So sometimes you might get the same one two or three times in a row, and then it's going to give you a new one. You've got quite a few in there. <clears throat> so that is your force effects dialogue. Uh, next is color change mode, which I will show you when the blade is in. The next one is volume menu. Okay, this is a pretty good one to have. Um, you know, especially if the, this is pretty loud saber. So if you want the volume turned down a bit, what you do is have your blade turned off and hold the button and give it a clash. Now, did you hear that beep? That means we're in volume menu. So while in volume menu, to go down, you hold and release the button in a similar fashion to going to a next font. So hold and release, hold and release, hold and release. You can hear It's getting lower. All the way down. And if you want to save it like that, hold the button and give it a clash. Now you hear we're, uh, we're a lot lower. So I'm going to turn it all the way back up again for the purpose of the video. So I'm going to hold Give it a little clash. We're in volume menu now. And to go up is just clicks. Click, 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 click. So it's, and to go down is hold and release. This is all gonna be um, on the page that I send you. So you'll, you, you'll get used to these things too. Just play around with yourself. So to go back up, I'm just gonna click. That's maximum volume when you hear that different beep. And then, back and back off and then there's a battery level meter too that speaks the bo the voltage of the battery for you it's triple click one two three three point five two volts so three point five volts uh, a full battery is somewhere around four four point one i believe <coughs> so um you know you're about 70 percent full right there so that is it for the controls before i put the blade in I am going to, let me just show you another couple of fonts just while we're here. Which one are we on right now? 
What music do we have? Uh, font two, Master right? I foresee you will become a great Jedi Knight. This is font two. We'll handle this. This is font three. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's the Jewel of the Fates font. And uh, don't forget your blaster effects are pretty cool. Those are your blaster effects there. And your other effects, um, while we are here, I might as well give a quick little demo of them. Like um, lock up. Lock up is hold the button and give it a clash while the blade is on, and that gives a lock up on the blade. Again, I'll show you that when the blade is in. Uh, what else we got here? Next font. Yes, your uh, funeral. Your funeral death font for you, Charles. Very morbid of you. Poor old Qui-Gon is dead. This is his funeral music. But we can still turn on his saber, even if he's dead. So, let me show you your dialogue in this one. You have your... What will happen to me now? The Council have granted me permission to train you. You will be a Jedi, I promise. You have that one and you have the... It, I want the second one to play now. No there we go. The mysterious warrior was a Sith. Always do, there are. No more, no less. Is your, your dialogue at Qui-Gon's funeral. All right, so... Um, yeah, you get the idea. Ben Kenobi? We also have, you know, Blue, Ben Kenobi. I have some nice uh, tracks on the rest of it for you, like... Um, I, I'll leave that up to you. I'll leave that as a... For you to discover the rest of the tracks. I've got some nice ones on it for you there. <coughs> so... Moving on, let's show you how to take this apart a little bit. I'm not sure you'll ever need to do this, but if you ever... Well, you will need your small Allen key. It's going to come with these Allen keys. So your small Allen key is for your blade retention. So loosen it off to pop out your blade plug. And in there you see your stock NeoPixel. Let's go back to a Qui-Gon font. Just looks better with green. Green just suits this hilt. So much better. So, that is your blade retention. It's going to be your small Allen key. It also comes with your bigger Allen key. And that is for opening up the saber for access to your profit board. So, undo this screw right here with the allen key this is your and take this completely off this is the um belt button once that's off undo your pommel or maybe even undo your pommel first either way it doesn't doesn't matter and then gently slide off this whole metal shroud being careful not to mark or scratch anything once you have that done you'll see one more screw to come off right here same allen key removes that screw and when that is off this whole section lifts off and gives you access to your profi board sd card if you ever need to uh, reprogram the board and uh, if you ever learn 
the profi coding and uh, here you'll see your wires this is now you'll see why it's important for your recharge port or um chassis part to be the right line up when it when it goes in you can see we have a ledge here to allow this nice open fins i guess we'll call them so that's how your chassis is held in place um this hilt originally does have a uh, threads here as well to screw away but i have put thread locker in them so you so you i don't ever want you to open this because it's got the battery right here and the switch above it and the battery and the the um stock neopixel and the battery and the wires all run down to here and if this is twisted off it twists the wires all up and it's just a big mess so i have um glued this shut with thread locker it's a it's not permanent thread locker so if if you ever really need to get it off it will come off but right now i don't ever want you to take it off this however does screw off um it's not really much reason for this screwing off but it does anyway because even when it's screwed fully on you can still access your um blade retention <clears throat> okay that is it for that um i'm not going to waste any more time by putting this back together on camera or actually you know what i am i was going to jump straight into the blade showcasing the blade but let me show you how to put it back together just in case you ever do do this so gently put your cover back on get the allen key the allen key um screw that is not in the belt button and put it on the left left hand side remember that okay tighten it hand tight do not over tighten anything ever on these sabers carefully place your shroud back on line up the holes and put back on your button your belt button i guess we'll call it screw it in nice and gently nice and carefully don't over tighten it <coughs> and that's it we're back let's put our panel back on simple as that everything's back together okay so now i'm going to switch over and um show you some of the blade effects all right we're back and <coughs> I have your uh, blade inserted. So um, off camera, I just pushed in my blade. You, you, I'm sure you're aware of, you know, you, you told me you have Vader's vault sabers. Keep the blade pushed in tight and uh, screw your retention screw nice and tight, but not too tight. And here we have our uh, beautiful green. So some of the effects, so blaster. So on this, um, I have localized lockup, so hold and clash. So you can see how the lockup follows um, the blade. Then uh, our tip drag. You can see the tip. So these effects are basically hold the button and hit the sail and move it around and then it's the same except pointing down for tip drag so tip drag pointing down then it's the same also for melt there is your melt it's like you are twisting into the wall so hold the button stab the wall twist the saber to give different intensities so yeah, pretty cool. So um, I'm going to 
move on and show you. My physique will become a great Jedi Knight. We'll handle this. So, as I said, this is like a regular green blade just now. The, the last one had your audio flicker. This one just has, doesn't have the localized lockup. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have the stab either. It just has the localized lockup and the lightning block, but it does have the tip drag, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Got your tip drag, it doesn't have the stab. Oh, it does. Okay. It's got your stab, but only in white. It doesn't have the orange stab. So the effects are not as good on the regular blade because the other blade is, that I've given you, is uh, from Fernando de Rosa's Blade Styles. Let me go back one and show you. We'll handle this. I've skipped one each time. So it goes audio flicker, none, audio flicker, none. So this is the audio flicker. So you see it has that flicker and the, the blade effects are, are localized and you're, a nice melt. So now I'm gonna show you the color change. Let me go back to a font that's not a Qui Gon font. I foresee you will become Actually, a great Jedi Knight. I'm gonna go backwards Master Qui -Gon. to show you the last font, which is. This is a little bit of a fun font I put on here. It's um, Dar Sidious Yelling Unlimited Power. Uh, it's the power meter for the battery. And what have I got here? Oh, I've got the Mandalorian here for you. That's one of your Easter eggs. You've got more. All right, so I'm gonna... I'm going to go back to one of these blades. Smooth. It's a gradient blade. So I want to show you the color change Smooth from wheel. Gray. All right, there we go. Perfect. That's like a yellow blade. So it doesn't, I, I didn't want to mess up your green Qui-Gon because save state is enabled. So this is your yellow blade. So the way color wheel works with single button, it's going to be the same controls as your force effects, but you're going to be pointing down. So, point down, hold the button, and twist, and you hear the beep. Now, you're in color change mode. So, you can swing and it'll change color, or you can twist. If you twist nice and slowly, you see it goes from blue, to purple, red, all the way through yellow, orange, whatever color you want. Let's go back to the yellow I had it on, and once it's on, hold, hold until you hear a beep, and then we're saved. So that is your color changing wheel. Let me see what we, here we have twin Hello, sun's battery. energy, and our battery is starting to go down. Jedi. Our battery is starting to get low because of all this, uh, this demoing. And um, I mean, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I will include um, instructions Low battery. with this. So, some more music for you. All right, I think I will leave the rest of the fonts and the music for you to discover yourself. I'm gonna go plug it in and charge it up for you before shipping it out. And um, may the force be with you and um, congratulations on your new saber. It's gonna be with you very soon.